Hey guys, in the fourth iteration of this video, of me trying to make this without a single problem, uh, I made a lot of changes over the weekend, and they're kind of massive. The dock now has active widgets. The start, the settings button is actually a widget, and of course we got the weather over there, but you can change it to whatever you want, and that's the cool part. I've also included a new system monitor, which automatically adapts to your wallpaper's color. And as you can see, we're kind of going Halloween theme today. And I just realized how bad the colors are on my Dell monitor, but I'm going to ignore that now. So if I go into settings, I go into top bar, I can turn the top bar off. Completely disabled. Goodbye. No one wants you anyway. And uh, according to my comments, they find it a waste of space, even though it can auto hide when games open and so can the dock. I don't think people understand exactly what you can do with Hyperland Quickshell and customize it to your liking. People always like to rag on everyone else's decisions and preferences, but when you do it to them, they'll instantly play the victim. Like, uh, like, like, like one of those dogs that start a fight and then the minute they get caught, they'll on the ground yelping, pretending to be hurt. Like that guy did something to me. Yeah. So center apps puts it in the center. If you want, you could also have it over on this side. It doesn't really matter. Uh, expand a screen makes it into a taskbar and if we go down to the bottom you'll notice that we have widgets and I'm going to get rid of all of these widgets except for the start button we're going to have the uh, that we're going to add this uh, we are also going to add a clock we're going to add the weather I'm adding everything that most people end up looking for system tray and of course we need the control can I actually type this time I can the control center okay now uh, system tray I like to have out front settings button I like to have at the very bottom uh, the weather goes before the clock and as for the clipboard manager yeah it can stay right where it is and now we have a taskbar now we have a taskbar a windows like experience just for those people that like to cry foul and be like, this is an alien GUI from another planet, man. Like, no one's going to know how to use that. You want to know how you learn how to use things? You try them out. And if that doesn't work, you want to know what happens? You try something else. But you learn by doing, not by complaining or whining. That takes up more time than actually just clicking buttons and hoping for the best. Like when I first experienced Dome, I clicked buttons. I came to the conclusion that this button opens a start menu and that this button opens an application and that this button opens up settings and that leads to display and this lets me do my display configurations and this leads to this, 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 and this and by the time I was done, I knew the desktop environment. It's 10 minutes later, I'm thinking to myself, well, that was interesting. On to the next one. Because at one point in time, I was a beginner, but this was back when Gnome was just a baby and, uh, Oh god, I'm older than Gnome. I, I, I'm older than KDE. I am older than XFCE. I think. I'm not really sure about that last one. Wow. I've been around through it all. I've learned it all. Huh. Now contemplating my own mortality. Interesting. The point of all of this is... Look, if you're scared to learn something, start clicking buttons and hope for the best. That's all you'll ever be able to do. Because you learn by doing, not by complaining. Because I know no might seem terrifying at first, but let me reiterate this. The only thing more scary than Gnome is someone that is refusing to just face their fears and learn everything they can. Psst, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy at all. Now, let's undo this mess. Let's go back to the top bar because I like things a certain way and I know all of you do too. I'm going to turn up center apps and hide. It's going to screw up. It's going to be fun. Don't worry. Watch all of this. I'm going to get rid of you, 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 and you. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add you. And then I'm going to go back and I'm going to add you. And the setting button is going to be right there. And there we go, everything's completely back to normal. Just like that. Boom. Haha. -ha. Now, I did all this for the purpose of customization for myself, in case one day I woke up and decided that I want to uh, feel mutilated by Windows on Hyperland. Now I have that option, except way cooler. 
way more functional and way prettier looking. Again, everything you do in your life is a decision, and these are the decisions that I make. Look, it's blue. Now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. Now it is. Now it's not. And we can even go so as far uh, as far as like. By the way, I need to talk to you about something. Who 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 thought that this was a good idea? Who thought that this looked good? Why, why, why? What has he got? Is I don't know what he's doing here, but this is not okay. To whoever drew this, if you find this video, stop it. It's not okay. It's just not. All right. So there we go. Uh, we're back on Halloween themed, and if we need to, we can go again to launcher colors. Uh, we can set the red, maximize a little bit of the green, and add some a lack of blue to create the orange. Yeah. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is cool as hell. Now I could decide to add an animated pumpkin as a desktop thingy here with Jack popping out of it, but that would take a lot of work actually. I'm not sure I want to do that, but I could. That's the cool part about this. I'm thinking about adding a, a media widget. You know, I think that would be really nifty. And you could just open up your music player. You can minimize it and you just start playing your music and I think that would be really, really cool. But as far as everything goes, I think this is awesome. There are some issues and stuff that I need to fix that I need to figure out, but I will figure them out. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, sorry, I've not been that active in Discord lately. It's just been different. Like last night, I was completely drained. I was at minus 5%. That's what it felt like. I went to bed at 7 and woke up at 5.25 a.m yeah today i feel like myself i have about 130 percent energy and, and there's nowhere to go so that stream might happen very soon probably around 9 a.m ish I'm not really sure and uh we'll start it on cash eos now unlike most people um my hyperland is actually optimized config wise so uh hyperland's you know performance and gaming does not uh, end up less than any desktop environment. I made sure of that. So yeah, I will see you guys in the next video or stream, it depending on today. Uh, and if my energy level doesn't fall to 0% because someone ruins my day. Thanks for watching. Uh, you'll find this in the GitHub link in the description. Please read the read the readme because I'm not providing any support for this whatsoever. This is built for me and me only. If you want to use it, feel free. Uh, my desktops, well, this one, well, these these other ones here, they're all from Bing uh, Wallpaper Archive, okay? And as for this one, this one, this one, and this one, I got them off of Google. I need to add WebP support, you know, for background images. Oh, if you want to help support the channel, feel free to become a member. Join button below. Bye.